Hi everyone, welcome to my channel that is Amplicons of Biotech. Today's video is about bacteria. Though some people are aware of the concept, but for others it is still unknown. After watching this full video, we will get clear idea what is it. So let's start. Do you know that bacteria can talk with each other? Yes, it is true. Don't get confused. Normally, humans or animals or we can say it's higher organisms. We use different types of communication ways such as sounds, word, facial expression, etc. But in bacteria, here is the different things. They use chemical to communicate. And our scientist says that it is a type of cell-to-cell -cell communication via signaling molecule called as quorum sensing. So, our today's topic is on quorum sensing. It is a very interesting term. Here is the scientific definition of quorum sensing. The quorum sensing is the regulation of gene expression in response to fluctuation in cell population density. Or another one is the ability to detect and to respond to a cell population density by gene regulation. Well, before explaining this definition, what I thought today is to give you some sort of historical tour of how we got this idea that bacteria can talk to each other. Okay, here is the history. First, Hastings, in 1974, he made an amazing observation. He noticed there were two bioluminescent bacteria, that is bacteria from ocean and they made light. He noticed their their special properties of light. They only made light when they are in high cell density. Here is the image which is showing the lightning property of Vibrofacia. The second one, in 1996, the Greenberg, he discovered the cell to cell communication in bacteria that is quorum sensing. And third one here is the most important that is in 1999, Boni Bessler. She studied the molecular mechanism of quorum sensing. The fourth one, the Levisitol in 2001, he determined the crystal structure of 3 lux X protein by X-ray crystallography. And fifth one is Chin in 2002. He also determined the crystal structure, but here is of lux B in Vibro Herva. Here is the mechanism of quorum sensing in bacteria in simplest way. Here is this low cell density area and here is the high cell density area. Here it is a little red triangle shows the auto inducer and the concentration of auto inducer is low. And here is the concentration of cells plus auto inducer is high. Which means as the cells grow in number and the population density increases the bacteria realizing this molecule into environment and when the moles, more cells are there then the more molecules are also there which means the particular concentration of molecule reach the threshold level then it regulate the gene expression let's say for example in vibro fissure and herve they turn on the light so these are the different phenotypic expression of bacteria use quorum sensing. First one, they produce virulence. Second one is biofilm formation. The biofilm formation means it is an association of microbial cells other to each other and produce matrix of extracellular polymeric substances. Third one is motility. The motility is an ability of the cell or organism to move of its own accord by expanding energy. And fourth one is sporulation. It is nothing but the formation of spores. The fifth one is nitrogen fixation. That is the nitrogen in the air converted into ammonia. And the sixth one is bioluminescence. The bioluminescence is the production and emission of light by a living organism or it, and it is uh, occurring in a marine organism. Now, I want to tell you few of the behavior that are controlled by quorum sensing in different species of bacteria. First one is Vibrofacia. I have already told you about Vibrofacia 
Vibrofacia have bioluminescence property. The second one is the Pseudomonas arginosa. The Pseudomonas arginosa have hundreds of genes that are controlled by coulomb sensing, all of which are very important for virulence. The Pseudomonas gets into the lungs and make it called biofilm. That's how bacteria stick inward and outward and it secretes all kind of terrible virulence factors that is protease, hydrolase, which damage the person's lungs tissue. And another one is Agrobacterium tubifacius. It is a plant pathogen and this plant pathogen causes crown gold tumor in plants. How? The Agrobacterium has virulence genes of unique piece of DNA. What happens or what they do in response to quorum sensing? It starts transferring of plasmid so that, that they make the entire community more infective than it was originally means mating and transfer of mobile DNA. The fourth one is E. corridora. It's an also plant pathogen. What it does, it wait, control and itself recognize them. When then lot when there are there are the lots of cell there, they secrete together the cell of virulence factor to make wound in plant. And they also secrete all kinds of antibiotics it has, the immunity. But other competitor bacteria in environment won't be immune too. So, they keep the wound for itself and fights off all the other competitors by killing them with these antibiotics. The bacteria produce some chemical in the quorum sensing phenomena that are spreadable and have low molecular weight. The aggregates in the surroundings and these molecules, messenger molecules called as autoinducer. And in quorum sensing, the different types of autoinducer are used. These are the three molecules used mostly. The first one is acyl homocerin lactones, second one is autoinducer peptides, and third one is autoinducer 2. Now I am going to explain you the mechanism of quorum sensing. Here is the vibrofissure's mechanism. The vibrofissure are composed of two regulatory proteins that is Lux I and Lux R. The Lux I protein is an autoinducer synthase enzyme and Lux R is a promoter binding protein. The Lux I protein is responsible to biosynthesize a specific messenger molecule that is AHL, acyl homocerin lactose. And here is the also theme, same thing happens which I have explained earlier. When the concentration of AI increases, the AI enters the cell and then the, these cells bind to the R protein. And this complex activates the transcription of target genes and bacteria efficiently coordinate the gene expression using quorum sensing. And lastly, and lastly, the application. The first one is pathogen diagnostic and therapeutics in which the, we have learned already the quorum sensing phenomena. The quorum sensing means the cell to cell communication process and it allows pathogenic bacteria to know when they have amazed enough to mount a successful attack to infect a plant or animal including humans. The second one is quorum quenching. In this, the specific inhibitors stop the process of quorum sensing and this quorum quenching term specifically used in plant protection. How? I will explain in my next video. Third one is biofilm formation and virulence factor secretion. About this, I have already explained what is it. That's it. This is all about quorum sensing. In my next video, I am going to tell you how quorum sensing used for the research purpose with another new term. If you have any question or want more detailed video, please comment below. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like the video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you will get notification of more videos.